So tell us a bit about your garden and so what you're growing here. Well, this part of the garden, in fact, we are on the roof of some of our rooms. Uh, and I grow very, quite a few variety of chili peppers here. Not all of them are ex hot, but most of them are hot varieties. We do get uh, quite colorful varieties. As you can see, there's uh, black ones with sort of dark green leaves. And there are green ones with black leaves. Uh, these varieties, is about just they just start coming. They are the hottest on earth. This, those, those ones are a uh, recent invention uh, from England, Dorset. They call it Dorset Naga. That one. That is the hottest pepper in existence at the moment. But I heard that Americans created even hotter one, which so far I couldn't get the seeds. This is kind of aubergine, African aubergine. It doesn't grow uh, larger than a small plum. This variety here is uh, happened because of cross pollination. As you can see, it has white, green purple and black leaves and the fruit is very small it doesn't grow and this variety wasn't existed before and now it's there so you, what are you going to call it biberevi type of well yes i'm thinking to call this biberevi that another one is that one that's also cross pollination as you can see the leaves are green but the fruit are black this is common thai pepper this line uh, they are extremely hot, but not as hot as those. These are varieties of Tabasco uh, uh, pepper. Right. Uh, so they used it for ta Tabasco sauce? Yes. Most of the names of chilies are Spanish origin, because uh, the birth uh, place of all peppers is South America and Central America, and early conquistadors they went there and they found this uh, colorful fruit. They give the name of their town and all that. And they, they all, most of them has this uh, words, fresco, uh, guero. And they all finish with O somehow, I don't know why. But they all Spanish, I know. In Turkey in general, we don't have this many uh, chilies, a variety of chilies. But uh, there are hot ones, uh, peppers that you can stuff them, and also there are hot varieties. Uh, so mostly the people mix them together. There's another variety there, this one. Uh, that uh, you can make lots of sauces because it has very thick flesh and it's not hot, uh, at least. For the timing, they're not hot. Maybe cross pollination would affect them as well. So I have every corner different varieties is, are yeah. hidden. This variety uh, wasn't existed before. Uh, I don't know how it uh, happened because this is midget. The chilies are minute, not more than. Uh, two centimeters length and half a centimeter wide and we never had this sort of seed but this year they appeared again uh, probably it's the same variety of this lo larger one but somehow they couldn't grow but it is their second year that this oven uh, was the, the one of the latest addition to this place uh, in this we tend to bake uh, whole lamb or uh, kids in a baby goat. Also, in fact, you can cook uh, oven, you know, in this oven you can bake bread as well.